hello everyone namaskar i hope you all are doing great today in this video we will discuss uh, landing gear of airbus a320 it will be a journal overview of the whole system in this system we will uh, briefly discuss gears and doors nose wheel steering and brakes and anti skid right let's start with gears and doors but before starting disclaimer i do not own any of the image and content used in this course all of it is just the production of airbus manuals or uh, the images from the google just to serve the purpose of easy understanding of the system and procedure i request you to keep this video at 1.5 or 1.25 my rate of speech becomes very slow uh, as the video progresses and uh, i request you to keep uh, uh, informing me about uh, what i am doing uh, or in case of any incorrect or inappropriate explanation of any topic please let me know in comments i will correct myself right let's start with gears and doors this beautiful aircraft has uh, three landing gear rear two are called main landing gear and this is nose landing gear right in main main landing gear these are oleo pneumatic strut uh, strut Uh, shock absorber and have uh, auto brake and anti skid system available but in nose wheel we have uh, only steering function available right if uh, we assume aircraft's nose this side then uh, the nose wheel retracts forward and the main landing gear retracts in board right these are the terms to remember for it's very important for the exam point of view right the flight crew normally operates the landing gear by the means of the lever on the center instrument panel the lgcu controls the sequencing of the gears and doors there are two lgcu units uh they switches over in case of any failure number 1 number 2 their automatic transfer occurs after every retraction cycle after take off when you retract the landing gear one lgcu changes with the another and uh, it happens every time when the aircraft is flying faster than 260 knots a safety valve automatically cuts off the hydraulic supply to the landing gear system right below 260 knots the hydraulic supply remains cut off as long as the landing gear lever is up once you have put the landing gear down then the safety valve opens and it resumes the supply of uh, green hydraulic system right there are uh, in total 37 lgcu outputs which is obviously beyond the scope of uh, these notes but uh, i will tell you in brief these sensors uh, check either the shock absorbers are compressed or extended landing gear doors are open or close bogies are aligned or not right and i have told you already the lgciu failure LG landing gear is controlled by the remaining healthy lgciu landing gear control interface unit in the end of the video i have summarized uh, the all braking system and uh, nose wheel steering uh, i will discuss the summary of the whole system in the end of the video all right now comes this indicator panel the this panel is connected with lgciu1 and it receives signals from the proximity de detectors this triangle comes in red the uh, correction this comes in green color if it comes in green it means the gear is locked down but if it if uh, the unlock light comes in red this unlock light comes in red it means the gear is not locked in the selected position the panel is connected to the lgciu one only therefore the lights on the landing gear indicator panel comes as long as the lgciu1 is electrically supplied right but if one unlock indication remains on for an example this unlock indication remain remains there now you can uh, confirm that the what is the landing gear position by looking at the wheel sd page 
because this takes information from the both LGCIO. You will check that side of uh, triangles. One triangle, uh, one information is taken from uh, one LGCIO, and this another triangle is from the LGCIO two. Right, any of the green triangle is sufficient enough to confirm the position of landing gear. Is uh, either the landing gear is downlocked or not? If you are having, a, if you can see one triangle, it means that the landing gear is downlocked. Now comes the gravity extension. In normal system, if normal system fails to extend the landing gear hydraulically, the flight crew can use a crank to extend it mechanically. Flight crew will rotate it three times clockwise. It will start from one, two, and three. Clockwise rotation will ensure that the landing gear will be isolated from the hydraulic system, green hydraulic system. It will unlock the landing gear doors and the main and nose gears. It will allow the gravity to drop the gears into the extended position. Right. Now it covers your uh, gears and doors. We have covered almost all important points of the gears and doors. Now moving forward towards the nose wheel steering. Right. So uh, as I told you, steering is only available in nose wheel uh, of uh, this A320 only. The yellow hydraulic system supplies pressure to the cylinder and the electrical signal from the BSCU brake and steering control unit. There are two channels of BSCU. There are two channels of BSCU, uh, one and two. So nose wheel steering is controlled by yellow hydraulic system and BSCU. There is one more uh, controller which is called ABCU alternate braking control unit we will talk about uh, BSU and ABCU further in this video uh, now we will talk about the uh, where from where the BSU receives the order so the BSU receives order to deflect the nose wheel left or right either from the uh, rudder pedal of first officer side and uh, captain side Number one. Number two, steering hand wheel of first officer and captain side. And remember orders are algebraically added. Means the deflection will be the sum of the both hand wheels. Now number three, it receives orders from the autopilot. Definitely after landing, this aircraft is... Uh, able enough to steer the aircraft on the runway to make sure that aircraft is moving on the center line right uh, as I told you you can deflect your uh, nose wheel steering nose wheel left or right with the help of rudder pedal with the help of rudder pedal your nose wheel steering can be deflected six degree either side but as the speed increases from 40 to 130 the deflection angle reduces progressively as the speed increases it comes down to zero reaching 130 knots there will be no deflection from the rudder pedals similarly with the help of hand wheel you can deflect your nose wheels left or right 75 degree each side this deflection of 75 deg degree will be uh, till 20 knots but after 20 knots it will reduce slowly as the aircraft reaches 80 knots there will be zero deflection there will be no deflection with the help of hand wheel right now uh, we will figure out what all things we need to work nose wheel steering Number one, imagine, can you uh, steer the aircraft in the air with the help of uh, this hand wheel? No, obviously, then aircraft should be on the ground. Number one, at least one engine should be running. Number two, number three, 
your anti skid and nose wheel steering should be uh, steering switch should be on this this switch should be on this is uh, uh, you know direct uh, connection between the nose wheel steering and anti skid function of the aircraft is directly connected with the anti skid and nose wheel steering if you will put it off these both two functions will be off and if you will put it on they will work anti skid and nose wheel steering will work right and last towing control lever should be in normal position aircraft should not be in the towing position if it is in towing position then you won't be able to steer the aircraft right it is clear we have covered nose wheel steering part of the landing gear too okay we have covered gears and doors and nose wheel steering now comes the brakes and anti skid function so uh the main wheels only the main wheels are equipped with carbon multi disc brakes which can be actuated by either of the two independent brake system one is normal we call it normal system and another one is alternate system normal system uses green hydraulic pressure whereas alternate system uses yellow hydraulic system uh, i will again take you to the diagram or schematic diagram of hydraulics here you will see that normal braking is with the help of green system this is green system and your alternate braking your alternate braking is with the help of yellow system i have made a uh, diagram over here your normal braking is with the help of uh, your normal braking is with the help of your green system and alternate braking is with the help of uh, yellow system right in normal braking bscu uh, takes control and uh, it makes sure the anti skid works nose wheel steering works and auto brake functions so uh, in normal operations when aircraft is having normal braking we will be having auto brakes we will be having anti skid function and nose wheel steering function we will discuss anti skid and uh, auto brake system in the end but uh, for now we will discuss what all things we have in different modes of uh, braking when the system starts failing you know depending on the failure braking actions reverts braking revert to alternate braking with anti skid or alternate braking without anti skid or even alternate braking without anti skid on accumulator i will tell you in these conditions what all are the computers involved and what all hydraulics uh, it takes uh, fluid from right so in as i told you in normal operations in normal braking we have auto brakes available we have anti skid available we have nose wheel steering available and the supply is from green system but when let's say assume green system fails we have low pressure in green system so there will be yellow system will will which will supply the fluid supply will be taken from the yellow system and alternate braking will be controlled by abcu alternate braking control unit but if we have and bscu available with us in this context we are assuming bscu's both channel or any of the channel is available and we have not switched nose wheel steering anti skid switch off so nose wheel steering switch and anti skid switch is on right in this case we will be having anti skid system available with the help of bscu i hope it is clear now in alternate braking with anti skid 
we have anti skid function available with the help of bscu and alternate braking is with the help of abcu now comes uh, the alternate braking without anti skid function so in this case we assume that uh, we have lost both our green and yellow hydraulic uh, sorry we have uh, uh, yellow hydraulic but we do not have our bscu number 1 number 2 we do not have e yeah, green system or we have switched our nose wheel steering and anti skid switch off intentionally so our anti skid function will not be available as we have uh, intentionally uh, switched that uh, knob off right in the both cases we will not be having anti skid function available either bsu has failed or we have intentionally put anti skid or nose wheel steering switch off and considering green system is also fail so alternate braking will be available with the help of abcu only alternate braking control unit and we will not be having anti skid again i am repeating the same thing again now comes the extreme condition when you have lost your uh, green system you have lost even your yellow system or there is low pressure in green and yellow on considering bscu is failed both channel has failed or you have put the anti skid switch or nose wheel steering switch off so there will be still braking with the help of accumulator we have a separate accumulator four seven applications this accumulator can provide seven full applications of brake with the help of abcu so in this scenario we do not have a green system we do not have yellow system we do not have bscu available but still we can have brakes but only seven applications right this is called alternate braking without anti skid on accumulator right i have explained all three conditions in the end of the video i will show you this uh, uh, table i have made now comes the parking brakes so parking brakes are supplied by the yellow hydraulic system i will again take you to this uh, hydraulic uh, schematic diagram you can see over here parking brakes are with the yellow system this is yellow system parking brakes are with the yellow system so accumulator can maintain the parking pressure for at least 12 hours right this was all about all three or four modes of uh, uh, brake normal braking alternate braking with anti skid alternate braking without anti skid and parking brakes or i have discussed alternate braking without anti skid on accumulator also right now comes the two terms anti skid or auto brake which i was using again and again during the explanation of brakes and anti skid i will uh, discuss what all you need or what is anti skid system so the speed of each main gear wheel is compared to the aircraft speed which we may call reference speed so th let's suppose it's nose wheel and this is the main uh, left right main gears so the speed of each main gears is compared to the aircraft reference speed what is reference speed reference speed is determined by the bscu from the horizontal deceleration of adiru 1 2 and 3 so whatever the speed is calculated it will be considered as aircraft speed and that will be called reference speed so each main gear wheel speed is compared with the reference speed and if that speed goes below 0.87 times this bscu the system will release pressure from the slower moving wheel let's say right wheel was 
jammed and it was moving slower 0.87 times from the reference speed of the aircraft it was moving fast it was moving slow so aircraft is turning st start turning towards the right so in this case system will release pressure from the uh, right side main wheel and uh, it will not uh, let the aircraft skid now uh, there are two conditions of anti skid system deactivation conditions number one if you will manually put uh, the that anti skid and nose wheel steering system knob uh, this uh, button off obviously number two if the aircraft speed goes below 20 knots 20 knots of ground speed this anti skid system deactivates by itself this was all about anti skid system now comes the auto braking the purpose of auto braking system auto brakes are to reduce is to reduce the braking distance in case of aborted takeoff to maintain uh, or establish a selected deceleration rate during landing thereby improving passenger comfort and reducing crew workload now i will tell you the deceleration rate what do you mean by selected deceleration rate so there are three uh, auto brake uh, deceleration rate available i would say low medium and max if you have pressed max number one and most important thing you can only uh, engage max auto brake only on the ground right if you have uh, put the aircraft on max auto brake it means the maximum pressure will go to the brakes as soon as the aircraft uh, system generates the ground spoiler deployment order right the maximum pressure will goes to the brake and it will stop the aircraft immediately as soon as possible but there are deceleration rates for medium and low so if you have selected medium auto brakes deceleration rate will be 3 meter per second square this is a unit of deceleration or acceleration right but and if you have pressed if you have selected low then the deceleration will be 1.7 meter per second square or even uh, for some msns it is 2 meter per second square right this is the basic information of uh, whole system which i have explained brakes and anti skid nose wheel steering and gears and doors if you want to uh, know about this landing gear in detail i either i will make uh, at the point of uh, you watching it this video i might have made that video in which i have explained uh, every line each line from the fcom right uh, now i have made this table as i was telling you in the beginning of the video so uh, in normal braking the uh, 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 supply will be taken from the green hydraulic and braking with will be with the help of bscu right in alternate braking with anti skid supply will be taken from yellow hydraulic alternate braking will be with the help of abcu alternate braking control unit and anti skid function will be available with the help of bscu only bscu has anti skid function keep it in mind in alternate brake without anti skid supply will be taken from the yellow hydraulic only and the alternate braking will be controlled with the help of abcu right for alternate braking without anti skid on accumulator hydraulic supply will be taken from the accumulator right for nose wheel steering uh i will take you to this diagram again nose wheel steering is with yellow system the hydraulic system is yellow but uh, the computer is bscu bscu stands in brakes and steering control unit so this explain it 
itself that BSU is for the steering control so for nose wheel steering it is the yellow system from where the fluid is taken and it is the BSCU which controls the nose wheel steering right so nose wheel steering is with the BSCU and with the yellow hydraulic system that was all about uh, landing gear system as I told you it's a journal overview of uh, the whole system uh, thank you very much guys see you again